In the last two days a set of very satellite aerial photographs have appeared. In one of China's large shipyards is suspected to have appeared the construction of aircraft carriers required segments, and next to the segments parked a folded state of the J-15 fighter aircraft. Foreign media speculated that this is China is building the fourth aircraft carrier, and performance obviously beyond the Fujian ship. So how is the performance of China's fourth aircraft carrier? How is the configuration of each aspect in the end? Today we will talk about this issue. Firstly, let's talk about the development of Chinese aircraft carriers. As of February 2025, China has developed a total of three aircraft carriers, respectively, Liaoning, Shandong, Fujian. Three aircraft carriers are conventional power configuration using steam-powered turbines. The Liaoning and Shandong ships are 60,000 ton class carriers and have ski jump decks. Carrier aircraft need to ski jump take off, greatly limiting the carrier's mounting capacity. Combat radius, coupled with the 60,000 ton hull, the number of carrier aircraft is relatively limited. As a first step to catch up with the world's advanced level, around 2017, China began to build the Fujian ship aircraft carrier. 2022 Fujian ship aircraft carrier launched. 2024 after May has been carried out six sea trials. According to media speculation, the Fujian carrier will be commissioned around the second half of 2025. Unlike the previous Liaoning and Shandong ships, the Fujian ship is an important model that carries on from the previous to the next. Firstly, the Fujian ship adopts a full access deck design and is equipped with three electromagnetic catapults, which are capable of catapulting different types of aircraft. Secondly, Fujian ship belongs to the 80,000-ton class aircraft carrier. The number of fighter planes on board has been significantly increased. The full load displacement of Fujian ship, which is about 83,000 to 87,000 tons, belongs to the world's largest tonnage of conventionally powered aircraft carriers. However, the Fujian ship carrier is not the target ship for China's carrier development, but a transitional ship to carry on the development. Because Fujian ship is not perfect, there are some practical problems. According to the information released so far, the initial design of the Fujian carrier has a full load displacement of more than 60,000 tons and adopts two steam catapults, similar to the enhanced and upgraded version of the French Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier. Just as the Fujian carrier was about to start construction and materials were being prepared, the domestic electromagnetic catapult technology rapidly matured. In order to solve the problem once and for all, China's aircraft carrier development directly skipped the steam catapult and adopted the latest electromagnetic catapult technology. At the same time, large-scale modifications and adjustments were made to the Fujian carrier program, resulting in the design framework of the contemporary Fujian ship. Due to the temporary modification of the program, there are two shortcomings that cannot be avoided on the Fujian carrier. Firstly, Fujian ship carrier adopts three electromagnetic catapults. But the third catapult and the takeoff waiting area, there is a certain range of area overlap. In many cases, the third catapult cannot be used. Secondly, the Fujian carrier has only two lifts. In comparison, the 100,000 ton carriers of the US Navy basically have four catapults and three lifts. As there are only two lifts, there will be some impact and constraints on the deployment of the carrier aircraft on the Fujian ship. Therefore, the Fujian carrier is a key step for China to catch up with the United States and plays a key role in carrying on the past and starting the future, but it still needs to be further developed and strengthened. The last two days on the network appeared a set of satellite aerial photographs in one of China's large shipyards suspected of appearing in the construction of aircraft carriers required segments. Please note that is suspected and not completely formal. However, there is a J-15 fighter jet in a folded state park next to the subsection, so it is very likely. A section of the media is analyzing this, as China building its fourth aircraft carrier. If this news is true, then the construction of China's fourth aircraft carrier has started at least in 2024. This is because it also takes time to build the various segments of an aircraft carrier. Reverse the construction start time, 2024 at the latest. So China's fourth aircraft carrier, in the end, what power system will be used? What configuration? In fact, as of now on the network appeared two very different directions. A part of the population believes that China's fourth carrier belongs to a strengthened and upgraded version of the Fujian ship, e.g., with an increase in displacement of about 10,000 tons. Note that the first few U.S. Nimitz-class carriers have a full load displacement of around 93 or 94,000 tons or so. In other words, 
If China's fourth carrier adds 10,000 tons or so to the full load displacement of the Fujian ship, the tonnage would basically be comparable to the pre-existing technology of the U.S. Nimitz-class carriers. There is nothing wrong with deploying three electromagnetic catapults and three lifts. At the same time, the problem of overlapping areas with the catapults before the fighters wait to take off can be solved. The Fujian carrier has a total power output of 280,000 horsepowers. The fourth carrier tonnage, even if it reaches more than 90,000 tons, will not suffer from power shortages by using the same power system as the Fujian ship. After all, the U.S. Nimitz-class carriers have a total power output of only 260,000 horsepowers. The new generation Ford-class carriers have a total output of 290,000 horsepowers. According to this view, China's fourth aircraft carrier belongs to the strengthened and upgraded version of Fujian ship. The same steam power system is used as the general framework of the Fujian ship. The tonnage is increased to more than 90,000 tons, with three electromagnetic catapults and three elevators. To be fair and objective, this option is the most practical and in line with the strategy of small steps, fast running. There is another part of the people think China's fourth aircraft carrier is not conventional power, directly is. 100,000 tons of nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. In all aspects of the direct standard of the United States Ford-class aircraft carriers, I have to say that this point of view is really fierce, but it is not groundless. First of all, Wuhan cement carrier is undergoing large-scale adjustments and improvements. The deck of the cement carrier has been widened and lengthened. At the same time, the island of the ship has been moved backward, and greatly reduced in size. Judging from the large-scale adjustments of the cement carrier, China is indeed pushing forward the development of nuclear-powered large tonnage aircraft carriers. Because the adjusted frame of the cement carrier is very close to that of the Ford-class carrier. Secondly, in the suspected carrier segmentation on the internet, some professionals analyzed the adoption of four electromagnetic catapults. If this speculation is true, then China's fourth aircraft carrier is indeed likely to directly develop 100,000 tons of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. Of course, there is also the most scary theory on the internet. China is building two aircraft carriers at the same time. The fourth carrier to be built in the south, which is an upgraded version of the Fujian ship, is conventionally powered. The fifth carrier in the north is a 100,000-ton nuclear-powered carrier. Finally, let's talk about the timing of the fourth carrier. If this segment can be confirmed to be an aircraft carrier segment, then the construction of the fourth carrier will have started at least in 2024. Referring to the construction cycle and progress of the Shandong and Fujian ships, it is expected that the fourth carrier will be able to be launched around 2028. With reference to the outfitting and sea trials of China's previous three carriers, it is expected that the fourth carrier will reach near commissioning level by 2030. This is generally very close to the current stage of the Fujian ship. In other words, by 2030, the Chinese Navy could have four aircraft carriers, more abundant and plentiful in terms of carrier operational readiness and ocean-going operations. Of course, if the claim that the North and South are working on carriers at the same time is true, then it is not a dream to have five carriers around 2030. Although this is less likely,